First at 11, Norfolk school officials say they're doing all they can to remove rat poop, cockroaches, and mold from an elementary school. But parents weren't buying it at a heated meeting tonight called to address so-called misinformation about problems at Sherwood Forest Elementary. That is our big story tonight at 11. I'm David Allen. Nicole has the night off. 13 News Now reporter Chinu Hur is staying on top of this story for us. He was at that meeting with parents and school board members. Chinu. Well, David, in a message this week uh, that the Norfolk Public School District sent to parents, it said that this was an informational meeting as well as a meeting to dispel any myths that may be circulating. So when I asked a district official what those myths were, he told me he doesn't know one because he didn't write the message and two, uh, just Answering that would be a guess. So right from the beginning, this meeting went for hours. It was tense. It was heated. Parents demanding answers from these district officials and also accusing the administrators of not being transparent. Why are we, why are we here tonight? One after another. Dozens of parents of Sherwood Forest Elementary School students pressed Norfolk public school officials. Should I bring my child to school tomorrow? Parents were upset and highly worried after reports came out about the school dealing with the rodent infestation. Some teachers sent these pictures to us showing dead rats and feces around the building. School district officials and school board members held a meeting with parents Tuesday night to address concerns and share information. They are upset and I completely understand that this is their children. Witness Stewart stepped outside for a moment after a school official told parents the district did testing in September to check air quality and rodents. They say the reports showed the air was good and the rodents were not deemed an infestation. The parents were furious because his results weren't shared with them last month. District officials apologized and said they missed the mark. My kids are home sick. They've been sick over the weekend. They're on breathing pumps. You know, I just want to be assured that this situation is going to be fixed and you're not just telling us something to close our mouths. District officials were drowned out by parents bombarding them with questions. So school board vice chair Carlos Clanton stepped up to help rein it in along with board chair Dr. Gabriel, which parent Vera Arikawe says was needed. I understand that a lot of parents had a lot of concerns, but I feel like they were more so attacking the people who were trying to answer who really couldn't answer because they're not here every day. And even though the meeting went on for hours and there was lots of talking, okay. parents say they're leaving with more questions and more concerns. Is this school safe? And if it is not safe, when will it be safe? And what are they going to do for our kids in the meantime? They really don't have any answers for us. We asked some questions it's like, well, I can't answer that. I can't promise you that. That's not good enough. All right, and I did ask the acting deputy superintendent of operations, what are the changes that parents can expect to see next? What is being done now to help these parents and help these students? He tells me the district will get with the school board to address this at the board meeting tomorrow. And once that's done, they'll brief uh, the school board again on some of the issues that they're working on and they'll go from there. And of course, stay on top. We'll stay on top of this and bring you the very latest right here on 13 News Now. Live in Norfolk, Chinuhurt, 13 News Now.